Hello there. I want to speak about some of the hypocrisy that's going on in the system. Um, you know, saying uh, um, vic targeted victims are paranoid and stuff like that. But, um, you know, a lot of targeted individuals are getting teased around. Uh, you, you know, like, uh, they'll be sensitized to, like, say, Captain America. It could be even Superman t-shirts, weird things like that. Or even films on TV with superheroes in. Um, I personally, I believe um, if those of you are spiritual on a spiritual level, that I, I think from some research and uh, some of my own perceptions, I think the government are very paranoid and they believe um, they believe in a lot. Um, some of these prophecies that are coming true. Like, uh, you know, a hero will come and save the day or some miracle will happen. Uh, so that's why I think uh, why some of these targeted victims are being tested and they will get teased by things like saying um, they're Neo from the Matrix because uh, they've created this fake reality around them. So, so they'll have, uh, I got like a Neo on a van. Uh, but it meant something else, probably a Neo for a construction, but it was indirectly aimed at me. Neo on a number plate. Um, other targeted individuals have got the chosen one. I've got that as, as well, saying you're the chosen one. Um, some one targeted individual I, I knew um, got a text saying, ta um, yeah, saying um, they were the chosen one. Things, things like that, little things like that. Um, and I, I believe they believe in prophecies because... Um, um, leaders or presidents they do actually look into uh, astrology and star signs they do actually look into this even though they're very uh, you know they're very um, straightforward thinkers they do uh, you know because all the myths and the beliefs are more they think in curves and think around it so they do actually believe in that but they don't really want to put that out because it's you know it's reputation and uh, yeah they probably you know it's it's quite silly really because it's it's just hypocrisy because I've seen from research videos where the presidents do actually look into astro um, astrology I think it is where they deal with the star signs um, yeah I think it's astrology astronomy something else that's more of a science um, also I've also noticed when coming to psychiatrists and psychology the deeper meaning of the first half of the word psych actually comes from Greek and I by mistake found that a lot of things I find by mistake and then I use them as uh, pointers so psych means comes from Greek if you google it it means mind body and soul and now I'm I'm sort of confused now I don't care if uh, I'm not here to debate on if you believe in God or not but I'm just here to make a point so I know like a lot of uh, psychiatrists and psychologists or maybe even most of them or all of them don't believe in a god now i'm not against that i'm not for it but they don't have a deeper meaning of what uh, the word psych actually comes from uh, which meant mind body and soul from the greek now if you think of soul as in spirit and it also relates to god or some people don't like to relate in god and just spirit a lot of these psychologists or uh Oh, psychiatrists don't believe in spirit oh, or we can or we can just take God aside and if we just say spirit they don't believe in spirit and they probably even won't know this and I, I think I questioned one but he wasn't he was more of a, um, a, a person working in health but not in but they did have some connection to psychologists and psychiatrists but they weren't psychologists or psychiatrists themselves so um, I'm, I'm guessing the government probably hides all these origins and meanings so that the, you know, that the psychiatrists and psychologists who, who actually learn um, about what, what, how they became what they are and how they learnt it, um, it was hidden from them. So they wouldn't, wouldn't have known where it actually came from, psych. Um, so it just shows that the government is hiding all this information, just like the history taught, taught in education and dumbing down society so they're dumbing down them really they're not, they think they can think around things psychologists and psychiatrists but they are still boxed in uh, a very big box that they think they are open but 
because the box is so big they cannot see outside of it um, um, just like earth really it's so big but yeah it's so boxed because we can't see the space the sun and the moon around it apart from going on uh, a science channel I've also learned I've also learned that anything I research into is somehow always involved in uh, government corruption, conspiracy and gang stalking. For example, when I looked into the CIA, just, just out of interest, um, they took on Nazis and uh, erased the entire crime charges and turned them into American scientists without me searching for gang stalking. And um, this, well, this all comes to gang stalking because it, it all comes from Nazi techniques. So you know, there's nothing further than that. Uh, they took on Nazi techniques and uh, the drugs, so the CIA actually, you know, um, took on the Nazi techniques and um, used a drug experimentation where they drug people and uh, send them out on relations and uh, have um, cameras in their hotel rooms and, and check how they'd react uh, in relations and, and on drugs. So, um, it's already there, uh, it's already there in the CIA too. Um, also, I've just learned that some military groups train soldiers to be paranoid and I've seen, uh, this wasn't just from one, one video, so I saw a number of videos and I, I was amazed, I was, I was really amazed. But um, only some groups, not all. But this doesn't have nothing to do with gang stalking, but it can be a point, it, it, it can be a pointer to to point at people who think, oh, you know, if TIs are paranoid, then you can point out, well, some military groups are trained to be paranoid. You know, you can have, it's like ammunition in your pocket to fight other people against, really. Um, they, they train to be, uh, they train them to be paranoid because um, they want to get them in that mindset of you don't know what's going to happen the next day. So they want them in that mindset. Some 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 military groups are different. They sort of train to be very skillful and have a lot of abilities, so that they don't get paranoid. So some military teams are opposite. They perceive it in a different way. They they train. They are trained hard so that they don't get paranoid because they've got the skills and uh, um, yeah and abilities. Uh, I've also learned that. Everyone from other videos, everyone is under suspicion by leaders and this seems like paranoia to me, this seems like extreme paranoia and I think in some cases, some somewhere I saw some video on someone's research and I think not only uh, on one video I saw they're all under suspicion that uh, in some cases that everyone's a terror suspect in some way or another uh, so everyone's being watched on. Uh, so everyone's a terror suspect. Wow, well, I was amazed. And that, that's paranoia there. That's hypocrisy. Um, uh, I've just wrote some notes down here. People say schizophrenia. People always look for proof or look into things to prove their points, which points to victims who are falsely claimed of this are said to be the same. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was going to... Yeah, this is another point I was going to mention. Yeah, so schizophrenia will, people will, sometimes will always look deeper into things if uh, they look deeper into things to find evidence for themselves to prove that they're innocent. Now, when it comes to TIs, this is the same thing, and now this is the sort of same thing they're trying to relate to because, you know, they're confusing schizophrenia with targeted individuals. So... And this is the same thing with targeted individuals. They are looking uh, deeply into things to prove their innocence. Now, now I believe a lot of this is like hypocrisy again because when a police person is at a crime scene, they are looking deep into things as well as trying to find proof of, of this crime. And this is okay. So, you know, like if there was a crime scene, I, I would go into it I mean, not going to, I'd, I'd see it and I'd say to someone you shouldn't look into it any further, you know, and it's just like with the inside job of 9-11, if anyone looked further, they'd be called crazy or mentally ill, um, 
but now things are changing, people looking into it more, it's more open. Um, and this reminds me back to films that I used to see, I used to see a lot of films when it's like, uh, when well it's like those films where detectives would rather, uh, would f I mean would further look into and in their own time so and they would even skip sleep or eating so yeah so so they'd even skip their sleep or eating and look further into investigations uh, in, in some forms that it's some forms that saw not all of them um, I can't remember which ones but one but some forms show where a policeman is intensely and he probably even takes it personal and he will go further, he will do anything to go further into the investigation deeply just like a T.I. would and he would even skip his sleep or eating and now from this I, I can see that you know this affects them mentally because it affects them you know mentally so because it's skipping sleeping or eating and then uh, people, people, maybe the cops around them probably say they're not fit for work but it's only until the end, until they find evidence that they're all sorry. Um, and this is if it's mostly true to the films. If 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 uh, most most well, the film I've got mis sorry, I've got mixed up here. I've got some notes here saying if it's true to the films. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say, um, it's the same thing with TI victims. It's sort of true to the films because they're looking into the investigations of gang stalking, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, and, and there's absolutely nothing wrong because you're finding truth. That's that's being professional. You're looking, you you're going to extreme lengths, and I I think that's professional because if you stop, you're not being a professional. You know, you're just you're being limited. Uh, and another hypocrisy I found is that if police find patterns in crime and link up things to find clues, this is okay. Whereas if victims do this, this is class of classed as schizophrenia so if 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 victims you know start t targeted individuals start linking up things whether it's sensitization or, or who's being followed and and you know patterns of synchronicity you know it's classed as schizophrenia but uh, but then the police are allowed to uh, uh, find patterns in crime um, and link up things to find clues and but this is okay you know I, I told this to a health team and they and they sort of said, oh, that's an interesting question, even though they didn't believe in gang stalking. But, um, um, yeah, it's bizarre. I suppose it's bizarre that is. So you can, all, you can use all this, what I've said, as ammunition to, to go against other people because looking deep into things and going to extremes and looking at patterns is okay for certain groups of people like the police, but not for, not for targeted individuals yeah so you can argue against that um, and uh, I like to also point out it's natural to search for truth no matter what to satisfy your beliefs this also incur occurs in their lives of masters who wanted to search for truth before they came to being masters some were extremely dedicated and this was also this was also um, whether you're religious or not but this it still points it still points out and this also happened in uh, religion as well. A lot of the masters were quite extreme. They went to extreme lengths to find truths, no matter what. Um, also, if you read a lot about religion in the past, there were um, a lot of them, um, a lot of religions and different, a lot of masters in different religions. They were, they did suffer oppression or they did suffer some form of targeting, and a lot of them were always on the run. So. Um, when people say, uh, "Why is so and so this disciple not, or this God not doing anything?" But they were targeted too. I'm not arguing here to argue to say that God's wrong or right. I'm just saying look, they were targeted too. But I don't know. I'm just some. Uh, I'm just figuring out all this at the same time. The same same thing. And uh, well, as irony, I found out through education that. One pattern in life is the Fibonacci spiral, so you can laugh at that. There's a pattern there, Fibonacci spiral. There's also a pattern in mathematics that I found too. Um, and that's it for now.